Well, for many of us, it might be hard to believe that it's been 25 years since we were first frightened and then fascinated by the film The Exorcist. More now from our man in Hollywood, Jim Brown. It is one of the most unforgettable images of 20th century movie making. The Catholic priest arriving at the house of a demon-possessed young girl. It is the arrival of The Exorcist. 1973 and what audiences saw created a kind of hysteria people fainting inside the theater picketing outside nevertheless the movie received 10 oscar nominations with two wins for screenplay and sound along with actors ellen burston max von Sydo, and jason miller the central figure of this hellish possession was played by a 13 year old named linda blair I had to look at myself in the mirror every day. You know, I think a lot of people don't realize how hard that is for a young girl to look in the mirror and say, does it ever end? You know, I'm very proud of all the nominations and the awards, and, and um, you hope one time in your life that, that you're lucky enough to get that kind of film or project. The, the power of Christ compels you! The movie Exorcist the was based on William Christ Peter Blatty's novel of the same name. He also wrote the screenplay. It was directed by the then 34-year-old William Friedkin. I never thought of it as a horror film. I thought of it as a realistic film about inexplicable things. And I think now that that's how it's being viewed more than at the original time when it shocked people because there had never been anything really like it. I don't think The Exorcist was ever really about special effects. There were a lot of special effects films 25 years ago that were quite a bit more elaborate than The Exorcist. They're not recalled. The Exorcist re is recalled because of what it has to say about the mystery of faith and the constant struggle of good and evil, you know? And it was done realistically. That's what I think lives, not the special effects. Hello, I'm William Friedkin, director of The Exorcist. To mark the, the 25th anniversary of the movie, of Friedkin himself introduces a new edition, including one on DVD, with a digitally restored image and a remixed stereo soundtrack. With its accompanying documentary, Friedkin calls DVD the celluloid keeper of the flame. Yes, I think that's the ultimate preservation. We know that negative deteriorates, you know, celluloid negative. Uh, it doesn't last very long, no matter what you do. Digital technology is, is, the, is the medium of the future that will preserve all the great films, I think. So I, I support it totally. What makes special editions so special to video collectors is the opportunity to see supplementary material, including outtakes from movies. In the case of The Exorcist, it is the so-called spider walk scene, cut by Friedkin because he thought it didn't flow with the rest of the movie. It's a combination of another girl and myself. I, coming from a gymnastic background, was able to do a portion just at the end. You'll see me in the back bend coming down, and then I flip over. And the most grotesque tongue comes out of my mouth. I must admit, I had not seen it myself for so long. Maybe I never saw it because I didn't see dailies. It's gross, and I chase Ellen all around. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the fans are, are really enjoying that. <laughs> People actually believed what they saw on the screen. Some the documentary also shows that Friedkin and author Bill Blatty still argue over scenes cut from the film, particularly one at the end. Many people to this day interpret The Exorcist as a downer. I thought that the scene from the novel between Kinderman and Dyer would allow the audience to feel, hey, cool it, everything's okay. She doesn't remember any of it. That's good. I've always believed that people will, will and should take from The Exorcist what they bring to it. If you think that the world is a dark and evil place, you can take that from the film. But if you think, as I do and as Blatty did, that, you know, good very often, not always, but very often defeats evil in a constant struggle, then you can take that from The Exorcist as well. The Exorcist at age 25, a movie still touched by a devil. For today, Jim Brown, NBC News, Hollywood. I think you'd actually forgotten how frightening that movie was. I know, and 
it, it's one of my favorite holiday classics, but kind of <laughs> seeing it it's early in the... It's a wonderful life, the exorcist. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Santa Claus is coming to town. <sighs> anyway, it's mighty scary, even in just the little clips yeah, that you see there. Scary. Coming up in our next day.